Hi guys, welcome to Old Hunter for another Halloween DIY Animated Prop project. In this video I show you how I created my pop-up prop, my pop-up ghost here and this is the ghost which sits behind the crate and if you walk by the ghost jumps up, makes some noise because we talk about an animatronic. I show you what you need for this project, how it is assembled, how it is controlled and how the finished product works. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel and please give me a thumbs up. But now, let's go and start the project. So the project starts with this pile of wood here and we have the wood for the framing where the ghost sits on and the wood for the crate which is around the framing of the ghost. And here I pre-cut everything and we have two roof battens 65 centimeters in length, we have three roof battens 25 centimeters in length, we have one sled 40 by 60 millimeters 35 centimeters in length and we have one sled which is used to support the mechanics later on. And here we have the wood for the crate and these slats are cut to lengths of 40 centimeters. This is for the corners and this means the crate will have a height of 40 centimeters and the wooden boards will be cut to length when I need them. But first I will assemble the framing of the ghost. So right, framing is done and it's not more than this this time and a short explanation here. So from this point to here to the center of this roof pattern here we have 50 centimeters and if we take a look at the small column here it's not in the center so we have 16 centimeters from this point to here. And that's because the mechanics will be at on top here and will hang over a little bit to the side here so this point will be the center later on. So as the next step, we can add the mechanics and the electronics. The project is driven by this 40 kg servo motor and I already used this motor in another project, my haunted toilet house and you can find the link down in the description. Just take a look, it's a pretty cool project. And I will use this attachment here to connect the motor and the pipe here. This one is a PVC pipe and here at the front there will be the ghost attached to and I go 50 centimeters from here to here and attach the motor this way and therefore I will widen those holes here and use two screws three millimeter to connect the motor and the pipe.
course the servo motor on its own wouldn't do anything. Here we have the brain, the control center of our Halloween prop. So we have an Arduino Uno R3, we have a sound module, three sounds will be played. Here we have a module to adjust voltage and amps for the servo motor. And these wires go up to the motor. Then we have the wires which go to the power supply. It runs with 12 volts here. Here we have a fuse with three amps. And the power supply is for demonstration purposes here. I will use a different one later. And the prop itself will be triggered using such an ultrasonic sensor here. So why didn't I use a normal motion sensor? Um, this ultrasonic sensor allows me to measure distances. So the whole thing will be programmed in a way that you can walk towards the Halloween prop and it wouldn't do anything. But if you go below a certain distance, the prop will be triggered in comparison to a motion sensor the prop would be triggered if we detect the motion. I hope the effect will be pretty cool and it also works when everything with the create is set up. But first, let me do a test run. All right, everything is set up and here in front on the power supply, there's the ultrasonic sensor and the loudspeaker is also connected. So let me walk by. The short pause in vert vertical position is programmed that way, so when the prop is vertical we have a pause of 10 seconds. So great, everything works as expected, so let's go on. So here it is, our ghost, our demon from hell, and this is a prop from Halloween store, so not a DIY project. And this head will be put onto the pipe now. And to be able to do this, I drilled a hole at the bottom side of the skull. Let me show you quickly. So here it is, 20 millimeter in diameter, and I can use it to put the skull onto the pipe now. So it's attached. And now I will add a support slat below the head. And the sense is the following. If the head goes down, the weight of the head will be on the support slat. So the motor will not carry the weight of the head all the time the head is in the down position. All right, with this, the inside of our living prop is finished and yeah, mechanics works, electronic works, control unit works and everything is fine. So what's left now is the grate, which goes around the Halloween prop and hides the inside here. So let me quickly assemble the grate and then we come back and take a look at the finished product and have some kind of short summary. So the crate is made out of 4 boards 50 cm, 4 boards 70 cm, 2 boards 65 cm and 2 boards 60 cm. This is what I have to cut first. Then everything is screwed together, here you don't have to measure exactly. And then at the end I have 3 separate side walls for the crate.
And then I take the jigsaw and do some damaging to the back side of the side walls, so the crate looks like broken. it won't be a project when everything works fine and in this case this servo arm got damaged it was attached here so what happened i wasn't preparing the next scene for the video and the prop was activated and got triggered and this pipe with the ghost moved up a little bit and then suddenly falls down i disassembled everything and then i saw the gear rim inside this servo arm here got damaged completely. You can't see it on the recording because it's very small. Uh, but this is only a piece of plastic and the gear rim got damaged completely and that's why the arm falls down. Um, I ordered a new one and this time in aluminum. Use the screws, attach it here. And the cool thing is you have two small screws here and using those two screws you can screw this arm to the servo motor in a very nice way so this should work now but just as a side note the piece of plastic couldn't resist the forces it worked previously as you saw but now it's damaged but yeah let's move on with the project so here it is our finished crate and yeah as you saw it's really simple just a few words here the crate has a width of 50 cm and we have a depth of 70 cm at the bottom and at the top side we have 50 cm. And at the back side here I used a saw and added some damaging to the wooden boards. So it looks like the crate is broken and that's why I also added some support slats here. And yeah, at the front side I have those two wooden slats at each corner. That's because I have three separate walls for the grate and so I have three single pieces and that's easier to store for me instead of have, having such a huge crate here. And yeah, the wooden boards are taken from old pallets here and yeah, we have some cool damaging from the nails here or here and some cool weathering. So I think it looks pretty awesome here. I probably will darken those wooden slats here so they are not so bright in color. But all in all I think yeah, it's pretty awesome here. In the meantime I took some black spray paint and painted the inner framing in black. That's where the ghost sits on so it's not so bright. And I will assemble the whole prop now and then I will show you the finished setup. So this is the finished setup, this is the Halloween prop, this is how it looks like. And if we take a look from this side here, so yeah, I used the black Halloween fabric and place it on top of the crate and lay it inside of the crate. So the ghost is less visible and the ultrasound sensor is placed down here between the wooden boards. And yeah, let's take a look how the finished prop works. Alright, 
yeah, that was my project Pop-Up Ghost and I would rate this project as medium level. So building the crate is very simple. The ghost is one bought from the store, so already there. The difficult part is of course the part with the animatronic and control stuff and the programming. But I'm happy how good the ultrasound sensor works, so triggering the prop measuring the distances works pretty reliable. But I'm already recognized that I have to do some improvements to the programming, so moving the ghost up and down needs some improvement until Halloween. This guy definitely finds its place to my Halloween decoration and I'm curious about what my messages will say about this cool guy here. So we are at the end of the video and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them down in the comments. Also feel free to tell me your opinion about this cool guy here. And if you like the video, if you like this project, please consider subscribing to my channel and please give me a thumbs up. I'm curious to meet you again in the next video. Until then I say thanks for watching and happy Halloween.